What's up guys, it's KM again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how we do our rack relocation for our 350Z front subframe. So when you order this piece, uh, you'll get, like I said, our rack relocation plate. Um, this won't be included. You'll have to cut that off of your own rack. As you can see, this one still has it on it. You'll have to cut that off and we reuse it and it gets located with the two holes in this plate here. So this plate's made out of 316s. So this is a subframe that we've already cut uh, to fit our plate here. So just to give you an idea of what we're going for, this plate brings your rack forward. So you can see just the difference between these two where your rack would normally sit versus on our relocation kit where it actually sits. So you're gaining about an inch and a half to move your rack forward, which puts a lot less stress on your rack just makes everything drifting wise much more copacetic. That, this plate fits on that. Um, okay. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of cutting to do to make this plate fit. More or less what we're trying to achieve here is just make a flat plane from where your lower control arm bolts up straight across so that from here to here, we have a nice flat plane that our plate can sit on. We have these slots in the plate which locate on ribs located inside the subframe and those will get plug welded for added strength at the end of it. So in order to start cutting, we need to get a total length of our plate and then find a center point, which just so handy, they include this hole right in the middle. So we need to measure out half the distance of our plate from this hole and that'll give us our cut lines to go off of. So like I said, we're going to need to get a total length on our plate here. So we're at 19 and 5 eighths on the plate. So split in two, we're at 9 and 13 sixteenths. So from the center of our hole over 9 and 13 sixteenths. So we'll just come straight off of that. And you're going to be right about there on both sides. So once you have your rough distance you're always going to need to trim and cut a little bit just to get everything to fit just the way you want it we're just going to get a nice and square line from our mark on the bottom straight up to the top so go nice and square off this bottom flange and just draw a nice line straight up the subframe on both sides paint marker's a little wet <laughs> it stinks too <laughs> Somebody set me up. So your top line is gonna be right at the front edge of these two small holes right in the middle of your subframe. So if you put your ruler right on the edge of those two holes, you can just go straight across. Again, everything that you initially cut will be a rough cut until you get the plate on it and then you'll be able to finalize everything once you see where it's exactly gonna land. We're just gonna try and connect up to our top line here. And same thing on this side. The factory bracket does get in the way a little bit here. On this one, I had cut kind of this corner out beforehand just to make that line easier to, to visualize. So with this line now there, you can see kind of what we're trying to achieve with the rack relocation. So you can see the line ends up nice and flat on this face and nice and flat on this face. So we'll do the same thing on the bottom here. Again, referencing my original one that I did just to make things easy. There is two holes that usually go here, which your front factory brace will bolt into. You can see those holes right here on this subframe. So we will include nuts with this kit that get put on this plate. They'll sit right up top here, so you can still use those bolts after you do the rack relocation. So similar idea on the bottom side here. So you're gonna wanna go to the back side of your two threaded holes, like I was saying, that get bolted into from the factory brace. So you're just gonna go to the back side of both of these and get your initial cut line. Like I said, these are very rough lines just to get this big chunk out of there. And then from there, we can start to finalize everything to make our plate sit nice and tight. So you're just gonna continue this line straight over until it meets up with your other line here. We will not be cutting into the factory lower control arm support. So we'll need to go up and then we follow this 
contour right here, like I said, just to maintain the factory lower control arm bracket, and we're not messing with any of the strength in there. Same thing on this side. And then we have our very basic or very rough, I should say, cut lines for the rack relocation. <laughs> Rest in peace to every welder out there that forgot their helmet in grind mode today. Respect. 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 Okay, so once you wrestled the front part of your rack out, then you take your plate and we do a nice rough fit up. So we can see this side all fits nice and tight the whole way along the top, other than this side fits pretty good, but our general depth and everything looks to be in the right spot. So from here, you're just gonna wanna find all of your high spots, either in the subframe, around the bottom, wherever there might be a spot sticking up that will make this plate not sit flat like it is right here. So go around, find any spot where the plate's sitting on top of the subframe, give it a little trim, and then we'll come back when it's sitting nice and flat. So now that you have your subframe all cut, uh, you've worked out all the fine edges and stuff for the plate to sit nice and flat. From here on out, it's just the welding portion of it. So you're gonna wanna clean up all your paint on your subframe. You're gonna wanna get everything down to clean, bright metal um, so that you get the best welds possible. Um, and we also need to cut the factory rack mount off of the old subframe piece. So we'll do that. We'll take all the paint off of this and then we'll come back when it's time to tack this all together. Is this thing on? That, that thing on? Okay, so now that your plate is sitting nice and flat, all the edges are cleaned up, paint's off, everything's ready to weld, we're just gonna need to cut this factory power steering rack mount off. So all you're gonna need for that is just to cut this bead that goes along this side, around the back, and then that side there. So we'll zip cut that off now. Now that you got your rack mount cut, tack it onto your plate. This piece will already be tacked on and welded for you when you get this plate. Same with this bottom bracket here. So you're gonna wanna tack that on like we already have here. And then from there, just get everything as straight as square as possible. Then you just start tacking and welding. Um, you guys won't be welding this back part. These two plug welds and all this will already be welded when you get this plate. Uh, the only thing you'll have to weld is, uh, is the plate to the subframe and then your uh, rack mount to the plate. So. Okay guys, so there you go. That's how you do our uh, 350Z front subframe rack relocation. Uh, any other questions, feel free to send us an email. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks. It's coming. Just wait, I'm telling you. Let's go.